Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Huawei 9X Pro. Now I really like this device. The first thing is the 7 nanometer processing chip. That it's a Kirin 810, which is going to be paired along with 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, a 60 megapixel pop-up selfie camera, three cameras on the back one's a 48 megapixel four, uh, eight megapixel and it, you're getting a depth sensor it does have a 4000 milliamp hour battery along with type c charging a side mounted fingerprint sensor which is really snappy um you're also getting the latest and greatest software android 10. so this thing did get the android 10 security patch it's been about a month or so since this thing has been rocking the Android 10. Now I do have the international model. There is also a global model, uh, which um, is for the Indian market. And then there's another model for the Chinese market. So just make sure that you do your research on which phone you wanna get. I do have the international Chinese variant. So right out of box, they did install the Play Store on this. So. Let's go into this phone and check out how this phone performs on Geekbench 5, on Android 9, and then let's see how it performs on Android 10 on Geekbench 5. I'll see you right after this. Okay guys, so here we do have the 9X Pro. It is the international version. Let's just go ahead, turn on our um, Wi-Fi, we're gonna connect to the Wi-Fi network, which we are connected to now. They had ordered this version off of AliExpress with the preloaded Google services already on it. So I didn't have to worry about that. So that's actually pretty cool. This is the international version. Let's go into the set um, Geekbench right now, Geekbench uh, 5. And what I wanted to show you is that this is the Android 10 version right here, Huawei HLK dash, I'm sorry, uh, AL10 high silicon, the six cores plus another two. When you go into the computing, you will see the actual specs of this device, the Mali G52 1080 times 2340 with the PPI right on there. But I actually ran a Geekbench test back in December 16th. So let's go ahead and take a look at the scores right here, 573. And just remember that number and then 1854. Um, this was on Android 9, you can see it down below. At the time it did have the same, uh, same exact thing. It's just that uh, you can see the eight gigabytes of RAM right there. It's a 573-1854. So I want to run this test again because now we are on Android 10 software. So I just want to see if there's any difference. And you can see it does say that we have a software update. So first let's do the software update right now. And then let's do the Geekbench right here it's almost finished and we're gonna just wait for it to um boot, to finish booting okay so this is the the boot up screen after you have downloaded and reset your device and this is the screen which will install the security patch and I'll be right back once this is finished okay guys I did complete that update you can see I have the dark mode. I'm going to turn that off because it is daytime, but um, wires, wireless projection, which is greencast, Huawei share, which is like um, that Apple version of, you know, that drop feature that they offer. This is the same thing, but just on Huawei. So uh, when we go back in, you can see we do go to the settings options here. And let's just go into system updates, software updates, and let's turn this one and let's just go to the current version. And um, you can see right here, it's the April 20th option right there, which is already done completing, but we're just gonna go ahead and wait for it to tell us that it's completed. 
And yes, it is. Now we can go back in uh, about phone and now we can basically look and see. Yes, it is April 1st right here. Uh, April 1st, this is updated. So that's pretty cool. Now, the last thing I want to do is go into the Geekbench right here and conduct a Geekbench 5 test. And let me just show you the scores we got before right here, 573 and 1854. So just so you, you forgot, those are the scores. But since I have my um, Moto G stylus right here, I'll just write that down. So we have a note and um, this is on Android uh, 9. And let's do the Android 10. Okay. All right, so let's go into benchmarks. And now we're gonna run the benchmarks. So look at those scores. That's basically 573 and 1854. So let's, let's go run benchmark. We did get better scores with Android 10. Um, let me just show you right here. We have a 604 versus the seven, the 573 that we got on the Android 9. And then we have a 1943, which is actually beating the multi score as well. So Android 10 for the win, Android 10, definitely for the win. Both scores did jump up a little bit, a kind of a spike there with the software. Uh, thank you, Moto G Stylus, for those notes. Uh, but yeah, I can honestly say this is really cool that we did get that spike in performance. We also do get that latest security update. And um, let me know what you guys think overall. Um, if you don't have the play services on your Honor 9X Pro, you probably can get it. I'm just not sure how to because they installed this for me. But um, this phone is absolutely a beast. And they're always uh, upgrading to the App Store every day uh, for this thing. So hopefully we'll be able to see all the apps that we're used to seeing on our Play Store with the Huawei Play Store because I'm sure that they're working on this thing um, tirelessly and so they do have their own app store which they want to develop to match with some of the apps that you will find in the Google Play Store which is probably took in years and years and decades to get to where it's at right now and it's an absolute monster so Huawei's catching up they're trying to keep heat with some of these um, different apps, but it's not really a fair game because the Google Play Store has been around for some time now, while the Huawei services, mobile services has um, this sort of within the last four years developed into what it is today. So, you know, Google's obviously had a head start in that sense of the um, word and that's that sense of it. But Honestly, uh, I mean, this thing is honestly doing a really, really, really well um, for what it is. So honestly, I could say that I'm really impressed with this device and the treatment that it's been getting. I got it was released in August of 2019. And now we're actually in May 26, coming up on almost a full year. But hopefully you guys did find this video helpful in any way possible. But show your support, appreciation by hitting the bell icon so you can get notified for more videos and never miss a video going forward. It's your boy Serrano. I'll check you guys later. But in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon, evening. Depending where you are, have a great night. Peace. Later, crew.